So here's how we're running our water line um, from our main water. We've trenched out and we've, we've run a line, a one inch line, PVC, schedule 40, underneath into the hoop house. I'll take you in there now and I'll show you how I uh, connected uh, the irrigation pipes for the uh, over, overhead watering system for the mid line. Okay, here's the one inch line coming in from outside. And we ran it into a three-way elbow. This one inch line going down to the four foot bed. And now coming up out of the water line, we're going to go straight down the center of the 18 inch bed. And the vertical pipe is going to convert into a three quarter inch pipe. So the first piece we're going to put in is the slip adapter with a thread on one end. Followed by a threaded one in, uh, three quarter inch. And the reason I'm putting that one in is in case I ever have to change this out. I could go directly in there and glue it in, but if I ever have to, if anything ever happens to the vertical pipe, and I need to change it, it will be easy just to unscrew it and put in, you know, cut a new one, put a new one in. So I have. The two adapters and then the three quarter inch. I used Schedule 40 here because it's it's stronger. In case anything gets bumped, if this gets bumped or hit by something, a, a shovel or a wheelbarrow, who knows, kids, whatever. Um, now we want it to raise. The, the the watering pipes are going to sit on a two by four, standing up on its side like that. So that's the height you want. It's actually three and a half inches, which is the size of a two by four. Elbow. Well, that's a little higher. That's a little higher. Okay. Then just another little piece of Schedule 40 pipe. Valve on flow control. Another little piece of Schedule 40, and now I want to be able to remove the water line in case I need to dig up the bed for any reason. So we'll use another adapter with a slip and a threaded end there, followed by a threaded nail in adapter. Followed by our water line. Which I haven't drilled the holes in yet, but I'm waiting for the the drill bit. I had to order the number 57 drill bits. I can't find them in the stores. Got them on Amazon. 10 pack for three dollars. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, so that pipe will sit. It's sitting a little high right now, which will be remedied. So that water line will go all the way down to the end, and we'll throw a cap on the end of that. Down there. And mail adapter and a cap. So we'll cap this. Anytime we need to flush the lines out, we can uncap it, run the flush the water through, and then just keep it all capped up again. Um, the connection is going to the four foot bed back in the trench, um, coming from the 18 inch bed. Get back. We've got the one inch pipe coming down, and once again, going up to the four foot bed. The four foot bed gets two watering lines. Um, the, both of them will run six inches off the inside wall of the bed here, and six inches in here. 
coming out of the trench, we T, and then we use the same connections we used over there. We use the the adapter to go to three quarters inch, three quarter inch pipe, elbow, small piece. We have our valve, once again, small piece, and then the double adapters, male, female, so I can, once again, we can screw these on and off. Down here, same thing, we do a elbow, male, female adapter, up, elbow, valve, and our small piece. And our adapter and then our screw on and off. So that's how we install our water system and uh, we'll drill the holes in the pipes as soon as I get those bits and we'll have automated water and we'll be ready to plant. So that's what's coming up. We'll see you then.